Hey guys, this is the base here. Today in this session we are going to discuss about Docker. So in this session, initially we will discuss about the concepts of Docker and further to the session we have arranged a demo session in the AWS EC2 instance. Please be with me till the end of this session. So let's understand what is Docker. Docker is nothing but it's a tool designed to make it easier to create, deploy and run application by using containers. And now what is container? Container allows a developer to package up an application with all of its parts into one package. Like its library, its dependencies, its runtime. So everything we are going to you know, combine in a package and that can be shipped anywhere independent of this <coughs> operating system. It's going to, it's going to run. So, by, I mean, it, this is, Docker is moreover, you know, like, it's like virtual machines, but it is not exactly like virtual machines. So, let's, un <coughs> let's understand <coughs> what is the differences between a virtual machine and Docker, and what are the advantages we are getting. If you could, if you could see my screen, we have, uh, I have, you know, like uh, the initial, the first left hand side is the virtual machine and the right hand side is the Docker containers. Okay. In the left hand side, any machine that we are having, it's, it has infrastructure. Okay. That is the bottom layer. And on top of it, we are having a host operating system. And on top of host operating system to run a virtual machines, we need a hypervisor. Okay any virtual machine that we are going to make the setup so that required a hypervisor in this setup you can see on top of this hypervisor we have the guest operating system which is installed in the virtual machines so let's say i have three different apps that i'm going to you know like deploy <coughs> then i might require three virtual machines so in this the left hand side in the structure i have three virtual machines which is installed on top of hypervisor and in this guest OS we are having this pins and dependent libraries so and on top of that I'm going to install my respective apps so this is the structure of a virtual machine so in this way let's say you are having one GB each operating system this virtual machine is you know it's consuming then for three apps one into three, three gigabytes of storage I need to, you know, like maintain in this particular act architecture. Whereas in the Docker container, if you see, I have this infrastructure, then host operating system, then Docker demo. So Docker demo, we are going to, you know, like discuss more. It's an engine for the Docker. So on top of it, we are having different, different Docker images. And this, these are the docker, you know, like uh, in this container, in each container we are having the apps installed using its bins and libraries that is combined, okay. So in, if you see, look at this case, we don't require this guest operating system which is required in the, here in the virtual machine we require this gate operating system. And this guest operating system is not required in the uh, um, docker containers right in that architecture so those it's going to get you know like by this we are going to get benefit of so much of storage that we can you know like reutilize right so this is the you know like architectural difference between a virtual machine and docker container okay if you understand like what is a docker container like, it's an image it's a very lightweight image and which is standalone an executable package of a piece of software that includes everything needed to run it. It, it combines, let's say I am running a Spring Boot application. One is what is required, you know, like it's required, it's a runtime, right, independent libraries, and then we can, I can execute it, right. So, so that is what this container, you know, like facilitates. So let's get into, you know, like uh, my Amazon AWS EC2 instance. If you have not seen my previous videos, how to use EC2 instance of AWS, please go back to my 
channel and watch all these previous videos that I have clearly defined everything and I have explained how you can create it okay so there are few commands that you need to execute to you know like uh, get AWS uh, get uh, docker installed and I have already installed in my EC2 instance if I type this docker info it's going to give me this details about the docker which, which is running in my instances so it's giving the containers and uh, its server versions then we have lot of information the plugin it has okay and uh, the kernel version the linux operating system that i am having this is for instance the os type is linux architecture is 64 bit operating system is amazon linux 2 total memory that i am having is around 1 gb okay so it has it will give you you know like lot of information if you type this docker info uh, the command okay <clears throat> let me you know like i have a spring boot application is uh, copied into this folder and uh, let me try to you know like uh, create a image or docker image docker image out of it and we'll try to execute this image and we'll try to you know like pull and <coughs> uh, push request to this um, docker hub container and let's see like let, let's understand like how it works so if i will docker images if i'm going to type so these many images i have it in my system created okay and if i'm going to you know like and let me create another one uh, so for all of your understanding so there is some command to you know like create it so i have all these commands uh, saved so i'm gonna you know like uh, share with all of you and so that you can uh, take a help of that and this is the build command if i will be executing before that i just wanted to to create a docker image you need to you know like create a docker file and the docker file i have created and i have it here let me uh, show it so here the docker file i am having it and the contents of it to execute a spring boot application i need this jdk 8 so i have provided from open jdk 8 and uh, i need to add this particular uh, jar location in the current directory that I am having and you need to have this expose what code you wanted to execute and the command right Java as this is an executable jar I can execute with Java minus jar and this simply the file name right so this is what I am having into in this docker file and uh, I'm going to you know like create <coughs> I'm going to create a docker image and uh, this is the command docker build and uh, minus save docker file argument and this is the app name and uh, dot i have given to you know like uh, let me give another name uh, so let's see so let's see what happens so it's telling like if if you don't have this open jdk installed then it's initially it's going to take some time but as this is already installed in my system so it's not uh, get any time and it's already created the uh, spring uh, the docker image form so if i will if i will uh, type this command docker images it's going to give me this is the this is the image that we have just now created right and uh, let me try to execute docker run and and here is my app name so let's see whether it's executing so you can see like it's successfully getting executed and uh, it's running on 8089 port and we can also configure it and we can change the port number and if you want to access it you just need to go to this AWS instance and it's uh, that IP address you need to take it then you can hit particular API whatever you have deployed here so I'm going to 
stop it and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to if you if you don't remember like all these uh, docker uh, images that we are having we can you know like push them to some uh, centralized docker repository and from there we can you know like pull it and push it so whatever we want uh, corresponding to our need we can it's a like repository and you can within no minute you can uh, pull the particular package and you can execute in your system and you can also push it so here i have it if if i want any particular application to be you know like pull then here is the its uh, details okay and the command is docker pull this to zero one line one fast image so it's going to pull it from that because i have already logged in if you don't have logged in so this is the command docker login username and email so it's going to you know like log in to your docker hub and um, so what it says when i try to pull it so it's telling this image is up to date there is no such changes if there will be any such changes that it's going to you know like uh, uh, pull the whole updated package and uh, if if i want to the new uh, uh, the image that we have created and how can we you know like uh, uh, push it right so you need to you know like have the correct tagging before you push it docker tag okay here this is the app new okay this is this is the one we have created and uh, this is the device 2019 is the username and i change the tag um, if i'll type the docker images it's going to you know, like pull me yeah this is the image that we have created it has to be with the username the tagging otherwise you cannot push it so let me see like if i can push it so docker push and uh, this is the one uh the new image that we have created let me see so we are trying to you know push it to the docker hub so that anybody can you know like use this app okay mounted from this one okay push the first to this repository i have already so this is the command we you know like push it i have already you know like pushed few few of my uh, docker images already and that that is for my poc purpose you can you you can also push and pull the image as per your need and this is what it's get created right now right and this is how you can make use of docker so hopefully you guys understood like what is docker right so it has it's it's a bundle of required package to execute your if you are creating this microservices or spring boot application so that that can you know like create a bundle of softwares into one bundle I one package and that you can you know whether you are developing in one environment or any system it doesn't matter the same thing is going to run in the production right if you if the whole package it's it's having the run time and uh, different run libraries and everything is nothing is going to change so that that package you just shift it to the other systems and in any environment so it's you, if you execute it that is going to uh, run successfully so that is the beauty of you know like uh, docker and uh, docker if you go to docker website they have you know like um, committed it's, it's it's giving a lot of advantages like faster time to market so that is the you know like main motto uh, for every business they wanted to go to the market as fast as possible so docker is the one who is going to help you to achieve that goal then developer productivity is going to increase <coughs> so because you, the developers is not spending much time in the environment setup so they are going to you know like create this particular kind of uh, package and they can ship it to any particular environment so the developer productivity is going to increase vastly and deployment velocity is going to increase by 60% it infrastructure reduction that is also you know like get benefit around 40% is going to uh, decrease it op operational efficiency is going to increase by 40% faster issue resolutions 
75% you can achieve it. So th these are the advantages you are going to get it by using Docker. So why don't you go ahead and get started with Docker, Docker and let me know like whatever you understood in this session and thanks for your time and please do subscribe to our channel. We are going to get uh, more videos on Docker and Kubernetes and whatever the new technology are coming up. Thanks for watching my videos and please do subscribe and provide your comments. Thank you so much.